sunset high and I'm pretty slow Blood rush in the hazy glow My hands are cold Do such a break That's supposed to be up there. There we go. <laughs> All right. You ready for some Life is Strange? I am. I am so bummed that <laughs> this is the end. Um, this is episode five. So this will be probably about a two or three hour stream or so. I will be posting this on YouTube for anybody that follows me there. Um, it's plus this mess, just like it is here with two S's and this. Um, but yeah, I will, um, I'll be offering commentary throughout the game and I'm interested to chat with you. So, you know, leave some, leave some chat in the chat box if you wish. If you just want to lurk and watch the game, that's cool too. Um, let me know if there are any issues with the sound as well. I didn't have someone to test it for me today, so I'm not sure <laughs> what my levels are and if it's all right. So just let me know if I'm too loud or if the game is too soft or, you know, whatever. And I'll, uh, I'll make adjustments. So anyway, so this is, uh, like I said, episode five. Wolves, let's get into it. I'm guessing we're gonna start with the with the allegory, the story of the two wolves again. I'm hoping. <laughs> we seem to start every episode with that, which is kind of cool. I like how they transform their real life events into uh, a a tale. In a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the wolf brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world, but danger seemed to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage, but when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. Dude, suddenly that was hard for me. <laughs> that whole bit. After all that time, she said. She came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So they had to knock her out to escape. The wolf brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideout. I think it's kind of cool that they've reunited with their mother. I'm interested to see what role she's going to play in the story moving forward. Like, you know, if we're going to learn more about her nomadic leanings, the fact that she has issues with committing and settling down and having ties to other people. I don't think it's a bad thing necessarily. I think it's a completely legit way of living, but there are consequences for living that way. So um, it'll be interesting to see what Sean and Daniel's takeaway from her explanation will be. <laughs> we'll see. 
Holy smokes, this desert's gorgeous. I mean, it looks dreadfully hot, but it looks beautiful too. Wow, so they just they just plopped down on a flat surface and fell asleep. I'm jealous. <laughs> I'm all kinds of high maintenance when it comes to my sleep. Hey. Wake up, Sean. Mm. Dude, come on. What? This kid's got so much energy. What time is it? Get up! It's so beautiful. Check it out. That is beautiful. <laughs> so? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. I know. <laughs> I know. Told ya. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nano. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. He's learning. He's learning... I love you. How to no care for what others. Happens, you hear me? Yeah. I love you too. Oh, I love it. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Oh, I'm so glad that they're coming ow, back ow, together. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow. <laughs> Diaz brothers. Always. Always. So, are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? Yeah. Sometimes, I feel like she's around, coming after me. It's scary. She's scared. She's lucky. Uh, she really is lucky, because Daniel could have done a whole lot worse than he did. <sighs> she's lucky you didn't go after her. Yeah. See, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, but she's still out there. Somewhere. She'd be stupid to come after it you, to be honest. We're together. She has no power. She has no power. None. Without you, she has no power. Mm -hmm. We're all good. Hope so. Sean. Are we criminals now? Sort of, no. I mean, there's the true answer and then there's the right answer. Um, I mean, technically yes, because of the law, but no, because they really didn't do anything. I'm just gonna say no, because I need for Daniel to stay optimistic. No way. We did exactly what we And had believe to. in his innocence. Yeah. If the cops catch us, We'll be judged for what we did. Mm-hmm. That's for sure. Yeah. I know. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but we'll have to leave soon. <laughs> He's learning. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry, Anna. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of... The wolf story? No, oh, it's still being written, buddy. Yeah, I can tell you. Aren't you too old? Nah, he's definitely not too old for a story. Oh. Yeah. I can tell you. 
been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf, the wolf brothers. Oh, yeah, where's Karen? Barely escaped from the coyote cult. She led them to her secret lair, deep in the red desert. The wolf brothers rested for a while. But at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. Hmm. They were closer than ever to their father's land. But between them and their destination, lied... A mighty fire unicorn. <laughs> 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 but she's nice, so they become friends. <laughs> uh, um, excuse me. Who's telling the story? Yeah, for real, kid. You are. But it's my story, too. Right? Good point. Yeah, that's true. This is my version. No. Eh, you're kind of writing it together. So. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Okay, then. So what happens next? Uh, they, they arrive in Mexico. But the country is rampaged by goblins. <laughs> together. <laughs> the wolves and the unicorn manage to slay them. And become heroes. The police forgives them. And all their friends come to Mexico to celebrate. Wouldn't that be amazing? <laughs> yeah. Sounds pretty good, and I know. No, oh, to be a child and have that Let's kind of hope. Let's pack this shit up and head back to town. Oh, so they gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. They do have somewhere to stay. They're this just this place is too pretty. Out and about. So incredible to see all those stars and planets up close. <laughs> it's like we're right there. Dude, where did you get a telescope? That shit's expensive. I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I yeah, could just is. move here. Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's definitely use our powers. Uh, less work I have to do, the better. Let's put the flashlight in. Activate flashlight. On the way. Do we have to do these one by one? <laughs> I just feel like I could see Daniel. Grab Let's all of our stuff. <laughs> Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop. Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Now cut it out. Jeez. Lighten up, You're man. Fun. Yeah. Mm, okay, so it is. Yo, Captain Cam, can you take these away? Sure. And no funny business. Of course not. Perfect formation. Mm, okay. Oh, I guess just those three I can ask him to do. I have to I'm do the rest myself. <laughs> not a fan of desert critters. My mm -mm. back hurts a little. I'm glad we're sleeping in our bed tonight. They have a bed too? They must be staying with Karen or something. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah. Right. Makes sense. <clears throat> Was that... Oh! Oh, we can draw. Yes, I want to draw. I mean, who wouldn't want to draw that? Since they don't have a camera, I might as well. Ooh, sketching time! Good idea. Goddamn right. <laughs> I'm glad you can still draw after. You know. Yeah. <laughs> one too, eye? <laughs> but if I can see it in my mind, I can still sketch anything. Almost. We'll Aww. see about that. At least he's thinking Very funny. things again. Smart ass. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. Hmm. So one more? Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Agreed. Okay. This power is so cool. 
I love tie-dye and stuff now. Hey, <laughs> can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the canyon. Badass. Mm, I can try. Yeah, that's awesome. That looks great. Tada. Finished. Let me check it out. Jeez. Do I really look that evil? He looks more like a super villain. Well, looks can be deceiving. It's about your character and the things you choose to do, right? Give me one quick second. I forgot to send out a notification to my friends that I'm streaming. Um, that way everybody knows. We better get out of here before yes, that. Yes, I comes know. In. Give me one quick moment here. Two episode. Five, if oh. anyone wants it's so to visit. nice and cool in the morning here. Then it gets so hot. Love to talk choices. Cool. Almost done. It felt good to sleep under all those stars. Alright, cool. Now, back to the adventure. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, okay, so I guess, how do we move on? Oh, I guess I have to pack the sketchbook first. And that should hopefully open up the opportunity to leave. Oh, yep, let's that hit was the it. trail, Forget something? What are you doing? Ah, uh, that poor little scorpion's probably terrified. No time to play, don't do that. Yeah, let's not what do that. What the fuck, dude? Don't do that. What's wrong? Stop messing with it, man. Yeah. yeah. You're right. That's like bullying Sorry, behavior, man. Guy. Don't get eaten by eagles. Do eagles eat scorpions? No idea. <laughs> cool. I wonder, do they? <laughs> let's go. Okay. So I guess maybe we were just like camping for the night. I wish or something? we saw more falling stars. Or any. <laughs> hmm. Uh don't piss when they fall. We saw the Milky Way. Hey. We saw the Milky Way, dude. That's amazing. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. And Mars. That was so cool. Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. That's where they got it from, yeah. okay. These guys are real cool. So they're getting a whole new clan now after leaving after leaving the gutter punk gang. And let me tell you, I live in an area that has way too much light pollution. Uh to Joanne be able will let me help to see the Milky Way. when we get back. Hell yeah. You're like the magic assistant. Oh my it's God. nice to be able to use my power out here. So Not close to the edge. Hide it. Yeah. Karen was right. They're all cool with it. Uh, let's discuss. Amazing that anything can grow out here. Does it ever rain in the desert? Well, very seldomly. No. Uh, good question. Anyway, what I was saying is, Mom oh, doesn't say much sorry. about my power. Why do you think? She's confused. She's in denial. She doesn't care. She's probably confused. A lot of us She's... are. Jeez. Confused. It's a confusing thing. Like, what do you mean? Oh my She's god. She's my mom. That's so pretty. Well, you know. I mean, she hasn't seen you for years. Mm -hmm. Not sure she can deal with all of this at the same time. Ooh, okay. We'll probably have to help. <laughs> Uh, Daniel get down too, maybe? Or has he, has he grown? 
My ah. legs are gonna. Hey, That's need help getting down? Dude, I got this. Is he gonna use his power? Uh, oh. See, easy peasy. Until you fall on your ass. Yeah, but I didn't. Open your backpack. Oh yeah, we Ooh. haven't checked our inventory. Oh, we don't have a wallet. That's right. Probably because. Probably because the cops took it when we were in the hospital. So we have a walkie-talkie, we've got water, a jacket still, which is great. Food container. Joan makes the best curries ever. That's a lie, actually. I make the best curries ever, just saying. <laughs> I'm a big fan of green curry. I'm really good at making it too. Just saying. Um, soda cans. Constellations, cool. All right. Oh, yeah. Our journal from being on the campground. I'm trying to kind of fast forward to where we are now. Oh, that's what we drew in the hospital. The stairway to freedom. I'm trying to make choices that keep them optimistic and hopeful. I don't know if that'll make an impact on the end of the game or not. Um, but I, I think the relationship between the brothers will have an impact on the end of the game. Um, how much I allow Daniel to use his powers has an impact on the end of the game. And then, like, the romantic choices <clears throat> that I make will affect the end of the game as well, from what I understand. So, um, as far as how much it impacts, I'm not sure. I think somebody told me there were seven endings. So, um, I will definitely be playing through again to see if I can make different choices and get a different ending. I'm just hoping the ending I do get... <laughs> Isn't tragic. <laughs> uh, oh, alright. So this is their time in Haven Point, it looks like. I wonder if he draws about Lila missing her, you know? Even though he can't talk to her. June 3rd, 2017. <clears throat> Total trip to live with Karen. Okay, so they are definitely living with Karen in what looks like a mobile home or like an RV or something. Oops. Okay, so yeah, they've they've got a whole community of folks again. That's that's great, but from what we know in the past, um, that's not going to last long, and they're going to have to leave it all behind. Look, look. I'm coming. What? Oh man. I just saw a cool baby lizard. Yeah, and you scared it. I know. Nah, he's a kid. Oh. He didn't mean to. Looks like a job for our local super psychic boy. <laughs> uh, Daniel, mind give me a hand here? So, maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm. I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. Yeah, that's kind of a delicate job if, you know, rocks can crack and... Cool. Well done. There you go. <laughs> I hope it's okay. <laughs> nice, man. It's hard to find the right balance between when to tell him to use his powers and when not because I know he expressed some confusion last episode where he was like you can't have it both ways you want me to use it and not use it and I understand his confusion because children, what makes them children is the lack of discernment and we're trying to teach him to tell the difference uh, but it's kind of hard to tell the difference as a grown up either because you know we have our own selfish needs and wants as well and it's hard to filter that out when we're teaching a kid. I guess parents have to encounter that every day when they're raising their kids. <clears throat> I wonder what made them choose this area because as far as I can see there's not any water source so it seems kind of dangerous to set up a community there, you know? Um, unless there's like an aquifer or something. Go for it. 
I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Okay. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> back soon. Okay, so there's a town nearby that probably has the water source. <clears throat> Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. 10 4. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat pancake alert. Whatever. Joanne has waffles. Over and out. 10 4. So the debate no continues in, today. in Life is Strange whether uh, pancakes or waffles are best. <clears throat> I'm just going to say waffles, but whatever. Mm, discuss. Excuse me. Water boy. Did you remember to feed the crops? I never forget. Ask mom. But no way I could grow stuff like she can. Mm, maybe in Mexico. Oh yeah. We can grow a lot of stuff there. Still can't believe she's kept it. I believe it. It's nice to play games with Daniel again. Huh. <laughs> Karen likes to join us, too. Nice mess. <laughs> Daniel will never change. <laughs> Some people don't. Karen taught me some cool off-the-grid shit. Yeah. I learned how to do that in elementary school. Um, how to filter, like, swamp water through... You start uh, larger to smaller in the filter. So you start with like large stones, then to pebbles, then Looking to sand, and place, it should filter it out. It's pretty I cool. I see that Karen really wanted to get away from it all. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Dude, we could put red food coloring in the water and turn this into a blood tank. Oh, yes. Then I could be zombie fighting vampires. Sucks that we can't get food coloring out here. That's not a great idea. <laughs> that would tick a lot of people off. Solar panels. Smart. But I don't... Oh, yeah, there's the cables. Okay. Arthur and Stanley probably want their telescope back. We're getting there. We all know. I like to snoopy snoop. That's what I do. Where are Arthur and Stanley? Like, <laughs> I guess I just have to keep looking until I find them. Okay. No matter what happened before, Karen did hook us up here. Yeah. That counts. She's doing what she can with what she has available, both emotionally and, um, you know, with, with external support. Or outward support, rather, I should say. This part of town is dead this time of year. Oh, okay. Can't just stay quite go there. Mm, okay, so let's check out uh, Stanley and Arthur's house. Okay. Morning, Sean. Morning, guys. So are they spouses? Or brothers? Or roommates? Hey. What's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Probably spouses. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. Mm. And dust free. Don't mind if I do. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. Oh, okay, I definitely can't spouses. Be here long after we're gone. Okay. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From mm -hmm. her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. We'll be leaving soon. She visits a lot. 
Um, let's not let it out that we're going to be Does leaving come just yet. Visiting often? Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her, but you know, well, some parts of the year this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. Why come here? Never get bored? You never get bored? So, don't you ever get bored? Being out here is a big change. We do sometimes. We're in a desert. I miss the parks, cafes, shopping. But this place is something else. And we feel safe out here. If you could have seen me as a family man a few years ago, I had everything but nothing. Now I have nothing but everything. <laughs> Thanks to this one. After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own away. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be. Or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. <laughs> My body might be 59, but I'm 25. He looks good for 59. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna see what Daniel's up to. Thanks for the desert, Brew. I totally get that. These two remind me of Claire and Steven. In a weird, hippie version. I would... I would miss having access to shopping in restaurants and, you know, somebody else cooking the nice meal for me instead of me cooking it myself. But I think that would be compensated by the fact that I'd have total this peace. This is such a weird fucking place. And I could absolutely be myself cool about it. all the time, you know. It'd be a trade-off. <laughs> you think they picked this up at the gas station? I hope not. It's too cute. <laughs> Looks like Brody, the bear. Hey, Sean. Brody. What were you doing at Arthur and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, uh, you know uh, what? Can't go there. I saw them kissing the other day. Kind of weird. Why? I kissed Finn, kind of normal, I don't care. Uh, I kissed Finn. Oh, really? Was it weird that I kissed Finn at the farm? Dude! N no way. Dude, I wouldn't lie to you about it. Nah, it's super cool. I just wish you would have told me you were in there. You don't have to know everything. Hey, artist, come by Joanne's place. We're making wild sculptures. Okay. <laughs> Hold up. I'll be over in a minute. Yeah, I want to explore. I want to see what this new world is about. We helped Joanne set up this giant vacuum with binoculars. That is frightening. As David calls it. David. They're throwing around a lot of names for people we haven't met Love yet. Love the energy out here. <laughs> With everyone building stuff as they please. Oh, that's cool. They do like a theater at night. Dude, remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. <laughs> Whatever. You missed Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting close. Newspaper, generator, junk, speaker. I feel like I don't really need much info on these things. It sounded. Oh, there he is. I yeah. Can sup, Joanne. That's what I thought. See for yourself. Man, check oh, this out. So they're out public with his powers then. Okay, Daniel. Let's take a little break. Got it. That child is... One quick second. There we go. Okay, sorry. Don't worry. <laughs> mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. Just doodles, nothing special, a lot to learn. 
they're not just doodles. And I feel like they are special, so... <laughs> Talent. Thanks. But I still have a lot to learn. Of course you do. Mm -hmm. Only dumbasses think they know everything. <laughs> it's okay to not know stuff. <sighs> Don't worry so much about the outcome. An artist has to take a leap of faith about every other week. I'm not an artist. Always an artist. Why are you here now? Um, let's find out if she was always an Did artist. Did you always want to be an artist? <laughs> Good grief, no. I tried very hard not to be one. Till I realized it was useless. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. <laughs> it's not always easy. But in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of... Do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, I don't know if I can. Come yes, on. Yes, I can. I just need your input, okay? If anybody's got an opinion, it's me. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Ah, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. So, for my next trick, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. Okay. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Why are you telling Hell me this? Yeah. I know. Let's do this. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I guess we're gonna stack these things. So metal belly, metal arm, metal head. All right. Well, I guess this will go first. Okay, Daniel. Can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Watch. The Be careful, Daniel. Don't want you to get hurt. These kinds of things are fun. It kind of reminds me of like the D and D portion of Before the Storm. You totally do like the model, but with the spider on top. It's kind of what I was thinking. It reminds me of the D and D section of Before the Storm when, uh, you know, you could have something interactive that didn't really affect the outcome of the game, uh, but it was still something to participate in the world, which is kind of cool. Uh, I guess we'll do this next. Now, let's throw on that spider. Sweet. Good choice, Daniel. Can I rotate any of this? I can. Turn left, turn right. Okay. I think that looks fine. Let's just add the head on, I guess. Mm. Now, let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. See, Sean. <laughs> Cool. I like it. <laughs> it needs like fun lights and stuff. Um, I don't feel the need to rotate any of this. I kind of like it the way it is. So yeah, that's my final answer. I feel like we're almost done. Well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but... It's still cool. You did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. <laughs> I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. Is that all I get to know that about Joanne? Can I Joanne is so chill about her art. Mm. That's what makes her talented. Excuse me. I you bet mind? you would like Minecraft. <laughs> It's kind of like this. Yeah, I've read about it. It's a video game, right? That's yes. cool, Joanne trusted and me to help build her sculpture. Looks like a snowman oh, with you lots of art. Show me then. <laughs> Precarious patriot shrouded in dust. Now what do we do? 
I feel like I missed something. Blurred ah. politics. I needed her to Jay, sit down. You hate it. That's what it you was. You okay, Joanne? Okay. <laughs> yeah, as fine as frogs here, sweetie. I, I like to take a good look at a piece after I'm done working on it. Uh, it helps me connect with it. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me be a part of it. Oh, thank you, Sean. See you around, hon. Oh. I guess that means it's time to leave. Now can I talk to Daniel? No. I guess I'll just go then. Okay. Can you get in the hammock? I want a hammock so bad. Too bad there's nobody my age here. Huh. But this is where people come to get old. Or to live in peace. <laughs> Glad to see that artists are allowed to make a mess. All right, well, let's uh, let's go back to, I guess, Karen's Karen's house or RV. Uh, I think it was this one over here by the plants. Swap box. That's pretty cool. It's so cool that people want to give a second life to their stuff. Yeah, that's, that's pretty smart. Takes them out, puts them in. Okay. Ten four. Okay. You're on a nano. If I can find you in a forest, I can find <laughs> anything. Yes. Thanks, Sean. Listen carefully. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Deal. So for the first item is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. Many that's wings. Nothing. That's your clue? That cannot fly. You can do it, big brother. <laughs> I hope. And don't bother checking mom's trailer. It's outside. Oh, that's good to know. Okay. Okay, so uh, no, you can hold Q and left click to ask Daniel for clues. Okay, so You're we're headed in the wrong direction. <clears throat> Dude, you're a snowman. Okay. Hmm. You're in the middle zone. Headed in the right you're direction. Warming up. W warm. Okay. Warm. Okay. Getting closer. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Oh. You're in the middle zone. Okay. Nope. As cold as ever. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> so maybe it's behind the house? Now you're totally frozen. What the hell? I'm just like three feet from where I was. No? Look at that. No. <laughs> I thought there was only vultures in the desert. Mmm. Many wings that can't fly. Getting closer. Okay. Way cold. Are you serious? The fuck, man. Now you're totally frozen. Warm. Hmm. You're in the middle zone. Uh, Wait, wings that cannot fly? Would it be this? Just grab it. Ah, okay. Windmill. Windmill. I said windmill. <laughs> Hoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Yeah. Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other part. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh huh. A plant. Sure. I think.
Well, there's plants. There's plants by the RV. You're in the middle zone. Getting closer. You're warming up. Oh. Okay. So it's not the plants. Getting warm. Is it in here? No. Not Solar panels. Smart kid. You're warm. Hmm. Oh man, you're right there. Aha, uh -huh. here we go. Okay, cool. Okay, so now we have the map and where on the map it is. Is that where we were before? Oh, no, no, no. This is where we were before. Um, I think this is Stan and Arthur's? Or is this... This is Stan and Arthur's. So that means that's our house. Uh, okay. I think I know where to go. Found it. Nice. And it's a... Tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Ahoy, matey! Okay. I think I have the whole treasure map. That's <laughs> so cute. Now you just gotta dig your way to the treasure. Hope you know where to go. That's a cool ass map you drew, dude. Thanks. Chris told me everything about treasure hunting. Oh, Chris, yeah. So here's Karen's trailer, and if I recall the treasure map. Oh, there's our wallet. Um, treasure map said was across the street by a truck. So. Warm. Getting closer. There's cars. There's a truck. Hmm. Maybe not. It's close, Sean. Maybe it's on the other side of that truck. You were so close. This oh. part of town is dead this time of year. I should stay around here. Uh, it's fun. Oh, maybe it's over here? Oh man, you're right there. Just push around. <laughs> I'm just I'm so bad at this. Okay, let me look at this map again. Ah bingo. Uh, Got it. <laughs> Yeah, you were way off when you Ooh, told me I was right there, like, like 30 feet away. <laughs> so what is it? Yes. Oh, I cool. think I have found the hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah, I knew you could do it. That was fun. I found this under an old trailer. Looks like gold, right? Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. Sean, you gonna dance? Come on. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you asked for it. Cool. Mm, all right. Now, can we go back to Karen's trailer finally? Oh, I think you're spotting Mom's truck coming back. Okay. Mm, Great. Yes, one hundred percent her. Gotcha. Cool. We'll help her out with the groceries. So can I go inside now? I'm just dying to look in here. I want to do like, um, uh, like one of those van life types of like vacations. That would be kind of cool to go to the Pacific Northwest in a van or an RV or something. Either Karen was desperate for a job or she loved working with kids. Happy world. Uh, resorts. Fluoride. Okay. Whoa. Oh, my. I hope Karen sends this to Claire and Steven. Um, can't read that. <laughs> Hi, Mom and Dad. I've been thinking about this letter for a while, and I know it's been a long, long time coming. 
So I'm sitting here tonight thinking about the words I should have written 10 years ago. You always used to say everything happens for a reason. We fought about it then. I understand why now. There is a reason. I feel like I have to reach out to you both tonight from the desert. I know you've only heard from me once by phone and six times by letter for almost a decade. God dang, Karen. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you, and I was certainly not trying to punish you like you told me. Don't laugh, but... I guess these are scratched out. That's why they're faded. Okay. Uh, don't laugh, but I just didn't know what to say or write. Poets block. Just like how you had to block me from your life after I left Esteban. I understand that, that was how you had to deal with a problem child, an only child, who didn't live up to your expectations. There's no denying that I failed you, but the burden, or weight, of your aspirations as parents failed me too. You had such a rigid opinion of what I was supposed to be that I just didn't have the chance, uh, opportunity, to explore who I actually was. You wanted a daughter to grow up happy, find a good job, a great husband, settle down, to breed, <laughs> that's a little crass, uh, have kids, and raise them in faith to continue the cycle of suburbia. That daughter wasn't me. I feel that. <laughs> I feel that deeply. Uh, I know that you were raised in a different time and culture, so I didn't understand your point of view. Like you didn't understand your wayward daughter. Maybe a bridge too far for us at the time. After Danny was born, you knew I wanted to take a break or some time to figure things out in my head and heart. It didn't make sense to your or you or dad, and I get that, but you didn't see how, or rather, I was so desperate, and only Esteban was willing to give me that time because he saw how unhappy I was. I don't blame you for my decision to leave, and maybe a timeout would have led to the same outcome. We will never know, and I try not to live in regret. My life has been a roller coaster, and there have been times I longed to hear your voices and thoughts, even the negative ones. And I know when I last talked to you in New York to ask for help in paying back my debts, you wanted to help. But it was on your condition uh, to return right back to where I couldn't return. I hate that was our last conversation. I'm sorry I reached out to you in this way. I'm sorry I broke your hearts. I'm sorry I let you... Um, I'm sorry I let you broke mine for silencing for so long. I think we paid our dues. And now I sit under a blue field of crystal stars, like the poet I hope I am writing and waiting for a chance to rebuild an old bridge with my mother and father. I hope we can cross it one more time. Love. And she, she scratched out love. Your daughter. Wow. That is heartbreaking and incredible. And yeah, I agree with Sean. I hope she sends that. Um, I get the sense that Claire still loves her and is still dealing with that hurt, but they need to find peace somehow you know take usb key uh, i don't know what you need that for but i'll go ahead and take it now um let me snoop really fast before karen gets here i'm so glad jacob and his sister are doing okay oh goody another they letter some peace Hola, Sean. Sorry I did not write to you sooner, but this was the first time I had a chance to relax after we got out of Haven Point. Thanks to you and your brother. I still can't believe it really happened. So bizarre. Sarah Lee and I do miss our parents, but we're not ready to let them know where we are yet. We will figure it out later. With the money you gave me, I could pay a month's rent in advance for a room in a small beach town on the coast. Sarah Lee loves it. She uh, She's much better now, thanks to the antibiotics. We're doing great. The most important thing uh, to me is my sister, just like your brother. We're lucky to have each other and we're blessed when you both came our way. I'm trying to track down our Humboldt crew, so I'll keep you posted. I hope everyone is okay after that night on the farm. We all deserve a break and a better future. Definitely. Please let me know when you'll make it to the other side. You and Daniel got this. Give our little hero a big hug. Take care, Jake. I'm so glad that he's the type to keep in touch. Just because... Daniel and Sean have been starving for deep connections for quite some time. And every time they make them, they have to leave, <laughs> which is really sad. Um, so I guess Karen's back with groceries. Town for supplies always bums me out. Hey, what's up? Hey, good morning. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. 
Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> <laughs> the deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. I What's guess she's sick. Defying death on a daily basis. And hydrating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. Hey, thanks, Angel. Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? Amazing, too cold. Ah, it seemed amazing to me. <sighs> it was amazing. Mm -hmm. So many stars. It's so quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it, Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. Oh my god, I love How seeing him town? so happy. Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes. Thanks, David. <laughs> He's so you open about his powers now. Boy. Totally. Me and Dad always used to play. But I'm way better now. God, that's so amazing to no see. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid <laughs> and play. Yeah. Yep. Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. Yeah, not anymore. He's seen a lot worse. And that made him tougher. And he can defend himself. You're right. And he does like to show off. Mm -hmm. Maybe <laughs> too much. You boys have been here over a month. And I still can't mm. get over Daniel's... <sighs> skills. Me neither. You're scared? Hmm. Let's see how he feels about um, it. Does that kind of scare you? Me? Goddamn right it does. Never met someone with a superpower before. I try and be a good influence, but our bond is complicated. We're brothers. I don't know if I did right. Guess you never really know. I think Listen, you did pretty well, kid. <laughs> raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Yeah. Trust me. Combat was easier. You're married? How many kids? How many kids? Oh, you didn't tell me you had kids. How many? <laughs> None. I was a stepdad. Or, hmm. in her case, a step douche. <laughs> Before her mom died. Yo! We never got along. What? She was angry. Is that Madsen? I was stupid. We were like oil and water and she was always starting shit <laughs> guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father especially one like me i just had no clue how to deal with her wish i did shit that's david but madsen <laughs> we eventually made our peace anyway we can't go back nope thanks for talking david better start my delivery now Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. Oh. Okay. That's wild. <laughs> Time out. Oh, I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She's yep, so I saw that cool. coming. <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Karen. <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a rest stop. I know. Yeah, it's true. Unfortunately. I guess you can poke around a little bit more now. That's smart that everybody takes turns shopping. Oh, okay. So I guess these are shopping requests for everybody in the... For everybody in their little community. I like the way Life is Strange tends to present communities. Like, everybody contributes. Like, they've done this a few times. 
um, at least in Life is Strange 2, I haven't really noticed it much in Life is Strange 1 or Before the Storm, but uh, at least in this in this um, series, I feel like they present community as something where everybody helps out each other, which I think is really cool. I don't think we see enough of that, especially in video games. So that's pretty awesome. I like it. Uh, we already read the letter. Ooh, laptop. Hope my crops will make it. Let's let's pull a max and be nosy. <laughs> Had no clue there was a network of seed pirates. Oh yeah, for sure. Karen's a real life hacker. <clears throat> Karen takes on some small piece works for a living. Must pay better than poetry. Hi, Karen. Thanks for your uh, last advice column. We got quite a response and a lot of hits. I know you don't want a social media footprint, but you could generate a lot of clicks with your insights. Looking forward to your next piece. Cool. So she is doing something that with her skills. Is amazing. Brody's so good at describing painful situations. <gasps> I miss Brody. He was so cool. And the good into it. That feels like a decade ago when we encountered Brody. I feel like that was the first moment of peace that the boys had um, when everything was kind of falling apart. I don't really feel the need to read uh, his article. I'm not sure it would have any bearing on the story for Sean and Daniel. So um, since I'm recording this for YouTube, uh, I'll just kind of scroll so you can pause as you like and read. I miss you too, sis. Hope Lila. we can take some new pictures someday. I was wondering... Uh, I wonder if we'll get another chance to call Lila, uh, or at least write her a letter. Probably not, if I had to guess. I don't- Whoa! I should have gone through that flash drive weeks ago. Oh, this is all stuff from before everything happened. Okay. Hey, Dad. Oh. God, that's sad. I mean- I'm glad he has it, but... Myla always knew how to crack me up. Looking at what you had that you don't have anymore, that's just so sad and heartbreaking. <sighs> like Gotta keep my eye loop handy. Glad I don't need it as much. She changed my diapers, but... <laughs> it feels kind of awkward to be here. <laughs> eh, it's just close. Chill. It's not a big deal. Oh, did I miss something over here? Oh, nothing important. Dad was an absolute fan of this movie. Huh. Maybe they were nerds together. I couldn't read what it said. Um, I think we're pretty much done snooping in here. So let's go outside. Oh. Another poem. <laughs> Karen must have been so excited to finally hit New York. Fly by night, not by fright. Into the big city bright. Stop. That cliche never dying in the steel of the buildings, the warp of the street. But no matter what or where I spin, the pull of a million dead poets takes me to a dance once again. Go. But this time, I get to lead. Until the next flight. She must be talking about... Um, her reemergence with uh, Sean and Daniel. I have to admit, I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather sometimes. Yeah, I bet. You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? too remote for me. Everybody's cool. It's another world. Hmm. From the thoughts that I've been hearing, he kind of it seems kind of alien for him so I'm going to go with that. This place is like another world. Don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> I think you just did. It has a unique atmosphere. That's why people come here from all over the country for their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. Hmm. You live as outcasts. It's so peaceful here. I don't think they're outcasts. I mean, outcast means that the community has kicked them out. Um, but they've made the choice to be here, so it, 
It doesn't quite feel like that. It is so peaceful out here. <laughs> Guess that's what everybody's really looking for. Mm. Peace. You're probably right. Yes, I still feel like we're really privileged out here. There's bad shit going on in this desert. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. I couldn't live here. How did you find this place? Um, I'm more curious to know how she came by this place, especially if she was in New York before. So, how did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone. Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's mm. long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. Well, thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. <laughs> By the way, can you grab your brother so we can all talk? Uh-oh. <laughs> Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Something's up. Big brother to Superwolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? <laughs> no one says we have to talk and then they just want to spend time with you <laughs> like Hola. I feel like she's gonna leave or Hola. she's sick or something Compadre. how about a trek around the canyon today you in totally let's pack then I think I would enjoy a life like that, except for the heat. I don't do well with heat, but I would like a secluded life like that. I'm surrounded by people that just want to be happy and don't want to make other people miserable. I think that would be great. should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. Nah. You'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Man. I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <sighs> <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <sighs> <sighs> Slow down, Mom. You walk too fast. More walk, less talk. You walk too slow, kid. Then you'll pass me up. <sighs> Guys, <clears throat> check this out. Now this is nature's art. It's so big. Wow. And pretty. Yeah. And so quiet. Except for the birds of prey. Shh. Serious? If we're lucky, yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh, can oh! Daniel, really? Uh oh. I hear a wolf. Better be careful of hunters out here. No hunter can catch Super Wolf. Not even you. <laughs> I'm glad she plays you along. Hide all the time, Mom. There's not a lot to do, but that's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she that's would so be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Uh, <laughs> usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah, I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up. If they're relying on the sunset, then I can understand why there's a hurry, because that 
stuff only lasts so long, you know. Oh my god, I can't see. I don't like this. <laughs> I'm assuming the game won't let me fall. I love to come here to get away from... <laughs> away. I bet. It's the best spot. Let's sit down. So, hey, I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. Thank you. You helped us a lot. Regret leaving us. I got to know you better. Uh, let's not dwell on the past. Uh, you helped us a lot. You actually helped us. You gave us a place to recharge and lay low. No kidding. I was so beat down after Haven Point. I know. This is the best place to take some time for yourself. You don't get that chance very often in life. Just know I love both of you so much. And I'm proud of who you are, and where you're going. We could come with us, think we'll make it. Let's invite her to come with us. By the way, um, if you wanted to, you could come with us to Mexico. That would be cool. I would love to come see you settled into a new home. You're almost there. But I have to be upfront with both of you. She's what leaving. happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, uh, we saw some stories in the papers. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shit. And they'll find us. Well... Figures. This can last forever. So... This is it? See you, Nana. We'll leave tomorrow. Oh my god, again. <laughs> Can you hand me that bag, Sean? That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh, I love those things. Is it? It's those lanterns. Whoa, awesome. Cool. Let's light up the sky. That's cool. That's really cool. Ugh. Bless those kids.
that was a cool little moment. I kind of saw that coming. You can feel it in these episodes that the time is coming for them to take off and you know that there's there's not much left for them in a in a certain section. You can kind of sense it. I wonder how they're going to take off, though, because they don't have a car. Um, unless someone lends them a car. Or takes them to the bus station, maybe. But they're kind of in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> you know, and a bus station wouldn't be very safe, so. Uh, I'll be interested to see how that works out. Um, are you guys all set up to leave? No. So let's we have to leave again. I think... I'm kind of scared. Oh, oh honey. How far is the border? What will you do now? Um, yeah, I'm kind of curious. How far is the border? How far we have to go? Not that far. Uh, maybe a five or six hours drive. It won't be easy crossing that border. So I'm going to give you a head start on the police. Wait, how? What's your plan? The cops are after me too for what happened in Nevada. So they can she catch me sacrifice herself. Of you. Fair trade. Mom, oh my go to jail for helping us. It's not about me right now. We need to get your asses to Puerto Lobos. Thank you. You don't have to. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you. So much, Karen. I knew what I was doing when I came to Haven Point looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. I tried to live by my own rules. No matter what. I don't expect you boys to be like me. But try to stay true to yourselves. This is your life. Don't let anybody get in the way. Dad didn't raise us this way. We'll do whatever it takes. I feel like your dad raised you to do what it takes. Fuck the rules. We'll do whatever we can to survive. Mm-hmm. That's fair. Playing yes, by the rules is. hasn't helped you guys any. <laughs> you took care of Daniel all the way from Seattle to Arizona. <sighs> Nobody could ask for a better brother. Or son. <sighs> okay. This is the last roundup. Wait, let me say bye to Joanne. All right. I'm gonna go do one last checkup on the truck before you hit it. No, oh, we are getting a car. Okay, cool. And don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. Uh, you should go see David. He has something for you. Okay. <laughs> Great, I get to go see that fucker. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I'm glad that they have opportunities to connect with people and get community and feel accepted, but every time they have to leave, it breaks my heart too, you know? Oh, I can write to Karen. I just, ugh, I'm ready for them to stop running at this point. Hey, Mom. Hey, Karen. Uh, she just, she's done the best that she can, you know? Uh, we're gonna start with mom. Hey, mom. I feel like she's earned that back. I know at you're this better point. with words than me, but still, here it goes. I think I finally get you. Thanks for Daniel. I do think he's. I do think he's kind of come to some understanding of why. Karen made the choices that she made, even if he doesn't like the choices, but I think he understands 
It took me some time, but I think I get why you are who you are. Mm-hmm. Maybe we're not that different. Don't give up on your freedom. Sorry for getting you into trouble. I think if there's one message that this kid's going to put out to the world, it's don't give up on your freedom. Because that is the singular point of everything he's done over the last, what, nine or ten months. Please don't give up on your freedom. Okay? It's the best thing you've taught us. We'll reach you once we find our own freedom. Thank you so much. Love. Sean. I love it. I love it. I'm not going to read it because we just heard him, but... It's great. Perfect. Couldn't have read a better letter myself. Rewrite. Leave as is. Don't leave a letter. Leave it as is. Let's, uh, yeah, let's do a little tidy. Let's do one more, um, one more good act. Ooh, there's a box to open. Huh. Is that the same person who rode her back in Beaver Creek? Hmm, okay. Uh, August 4th, 2010. Hi, Rumi. Yes, I know New York in August is hot as balls. You did say that you like the heat. Did say New York? Yeah, okay. Uh, but my apartment under the roof can be really suffocating. Don't want to rub it in, but Aspen is my new summer home. Daily temp around 70 degrees Fahrenheit and hot tub at night. Anthony's cabin is more like a ski lodge. Next trip, um, maybe you can tag along. Poets retreat. Uh, best cure for your writer's block. And please let me know when you can pay me back for August rent. Whoops. I definitely need it for next month uh, and up here in Aspen. I'll see you on September 5th instead of the 4th, so put your clothes on. Uh, stay out of trouble and remember to water my babies this time. Love ya, Emma. Hmm. She was that close. Sucks she had to pay all that money back. Hmm. Uh, we have the right to recover the full amount of $10,000 advance uh, we've included with this letter repayment form and schedule. It's kind of a hazard of being a, I don't want to say a flighty person, but a person that um, doesn't make roots, that doesn't hold commitments, you know? There are advantages to knowing people like that, but there are serious disadvantages too. Oh, should go too. see what David wants now. Yeah, let's go see that asshole. Um, so Joanna's is over there and Anthony, was it Anthony? Uh, well, their house is there. I'm wondering if maybe we can go back into this area over here finally. Oh, never mind. This David's place trailer. has too many adults. <laughs> Sean. That's hey. so weird to see him here. <laughs> Aaron said you wanted to see me? Yeah, but... Go grab that police scanner inside first. I gotta put these new plates on the car. Sure. I'm on it. Look at David Madsen. Done. Breaking the rules. That's crazy. Alright. I'm gonna snoop. Goddamn right I'm gonna snoop. Must be his wife. Time's taking a serious toll on him since this. Poor guy. Chloe. Police scanner. Okay. How does this thing work? 40 160. It looks like it's police. Can I? Oh, okay. <clears throat> uh, okay. I only got to search between 140 and 160. Oh, I see. 140 and 160. So use A and D. Let's just go upward. Oh, too far. No, 160. That's not the police. And here you go. Another hit from the 
Also not the police. It would be weird to be back on the road with Daniel. Wait, is this it? Yes. Okay. Okay. Don't fuck with it. Now we can spy on the cops all the way to Mexico. Thanks, David. Cool. You big rebel. That's super helpful. What else do we have here? Is he like kind of a tinkerer or something? Arthur said David could fix anything. Sounds like it. <laughs> he hopes. My cats are in the room, so you might hear some fighting. I'm sorry if so. <laughs> Lately, uh, Averdeen has been jumping on my shoulder while I stream. Uh, I don't know where she picked that habit up from, but she might mm. show up like right here. They look cool. I wonder which one is his daughter. Uh, I think that's Chloe and that's Max. Yeah, look at that. Cool portraits. <laughs> Didn't think David had a taste for the arts. Yep. I wonder if you picked that up from Max. Uh, I'm surprised they didn't talk about Joanne and why she wears a head covering. I'm guessing she has a cancer of some sort. Then maybe that's her with hair. Not sure. Oh no, that wouldn't be her with hair. That's Karen. <laughs> Ignore me. Mm -hmm. What else do we have here? CDs? Meh. Don't really care. That must have been the best meal ever. Two wheels diner. Two on the wall. Yeah, there's more behind that. It's not just a, a deal. That was a beautiful woman. Damn. I see why David ended up out here. But he still was a hero. <laughs> Edinburgh has joined the stream. Hi, sir. How are you? You good? I don't know if y'all can see him or not. But, uh, I'm not going to pick him up. He's really heavy. He's like 14 pounds. He's a very heavy cat. Uh, okay, let's read this letter. Dear Mr. Madsen, sorry this is so late, uh, but I put the wrong P.O. box address on the envelope and the letter was returned. Hope this one finds you. I'm glad you left Arcadia Bay, or what's left of it. Uh, I'm now going to therapy, which helps, but I still get nightmares. I hope that Max and Chloe are keeping you company. They're a good team. Um... Ah, for Victoria. Okay. She's getting therapy. Good. <laughs> um, I'm still in Seattle looking over my parents' gallery. Their partner, Jessica, is great. Jesses are great. Uh, she's taking care of everything. Uh, the will is a mess, but I'll be okay. It's hard to get over the fact that, in a way, I owe my life to Mark Jefferson throwing me in his fucking bunker. I get flashes of his creep face all the time, but then I see yours coming to rescue me. I'll probably be thanking you for the rest of my life for that. Please keep in touch at this address for a while and let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Thanks again for your service. Best wishes. V. Chase. Wow. So not everybody died in the uh, tornado over Arcadia Bay. That's cool. Uh, can we look in the box? As if money could make up for everything he's lost. Mr. Madsen, enclosed is your most recent deposit statement from the city of Arcadia Bay as per your negotiated settlement for damages. Please ensure the amount is accurate and that your bank is processed. Okay, so he... He won money and something. That's cool. Mom's car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? <laughs> yep. And I found the police frequency. How about that? Good job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right. This is the fastest route. When you get there, cross between these two stations. Now. You have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while. But Karen's car should be okay. You got all that? Hmm. <laughs> sure. I think so. 
Sean, you have to know. The police are on your ass. Y you only get one chance here. I'm not trying to be a dick. Just honest. I know, David. Thanks. Here. He's mellowed out a lot. Have a seat. I don't mean to order you around. Wow. Bad habits die hard. <laughs> and yes, I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. When our town was destroyed by that hurricane, well, my stepdaughter and her friend were among the only survivors. We lost everyone else. Jeez. I'm sorry. I used to hate them for running away. They hit the road straight away, never to look back while I was trying to rebuild. Get along, why come here? Why come here? So, why did you come here in the end? I had to. Arcadia Bay would have been my grave. I met Steve. He owns the house behind Stanley and Arthur's. He'd lost relatives in the storm, too. So I was in a really bad shape. We became friends. And he told me about this place. How I could start fresh here. He was right. I know that moving on is a, a tough process. No matter the situation. Sean... I'm going to do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. But mm. I want to be straight up with you. Okay? Yeah. Of course. I know you guys got screwed. But you think nobody will ever believe you. But the truth is on your side. You and Daniel can't just hide out forever. Is that how you see yourself in 10 years? If you step up and face the law, you can be free. I don't believe that. I don't trust Sooner it. Sooner than later. Want a new life, turn myself in. New life, man. I'm sorry, but we've just seen too much cruelty. <sighs> we've come too far now. Yeah. We just want a new life. Yeah. That's it. I understand. I do. I'm trying to be the adult. You're too young to be dealing with all this. And Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. So, I know you're on the right path. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, I really have to take this. Hey, sweetie, what's up? Is he talking to Chloe? Oh, can I listen? No shit. Told you New Yorkers were assholes. Me more. Yeah, I know. How about that other gallery she told me about? Cool. Fingers crossed then. Nah, your old man doesn't fear the heat. <laughs> Yeah, those solar panels are finally up and running. They're not really going to identify the caller, are they? Uh, I don't know. 
maybe if you drive down to Louisiana or Texas. That'd Come to be Texas. Cool. We're a friendly bunch. Okay. I don't think they're going to confirm. Yeah, gotcha. All right. Take care then. Hmm? Wish Max luck for me, okay? It's Chloe. He's talking to Chloe. Bye bye. Love ya. Oh. They have a repaired relationship. That's just so fucking nice. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> All right. Let's get this fucking show on the road. We gotta get to the border. Please. Please don't let the cops come looking for us out here. Oh, wait. Should we go get Daniel? He's over at Joanne's. Mm. I feel like they'll be in the back. I don't know if you come. First thing that comes to your mind. A woodcutter who lives uh, under... There they are. Cut him. <laughs> hey. What's going on? Mm, I'm taking a look at this baby with hindsight. So, what do you think? Uh, looks like a snowman with too many arms. <laughs> I feel like maybe we can move it. <laughs> well, looks a bit off. Daniel wanted to move it anyway. Hmm. I agree. Something's not right. I'll figure it out. Or give it up. I love it! So... Thought you wanted to change you it. You guys leaving now? Yeah, just wanted to say goodbye. Ah, uh, that's sweet. <laughs> You're so sweet. Your brother is so sweet. Having you boys around was the sweetest thing. This is for all your help. Really? Whoa. Oh, that's, that's great. Cool. Uh, do I get anything? <laughs> your name is on a way bigger sculpture. For everyone to see. That's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah, your brother needed a little something to remind him of the artist inside. <laughs> Wicked. Okay. One big hug. And get out of here before we all start crying like babies. <laughs> Thank you, Joanne, for everything. Just please take care of yourself and my special apprentice. <laughs> no worries. We always do. Hey, is it okay if I hang out a bit longer? <laughs> if it's okay with her. Oh, are you kidding? I need more help. We kind of need to so get going. Long, John. <laughs> Don't be a stranger. That's cool that we got our names on that statue. I'll miss you so much, Joanne. Okay, so I guess maybe. Oh, we should go find Karen now. You'll be leave fine, away. In Mexico. Let's talk before we leave, and then hey. we'll leave. Oh, need any help? Just checking out the levels and cleaning up the filters. Truck will make it. I never got into cars. Don't know. I didn't know you were a gearhead. Uh, that one. <laughs> I didn't know you were such a gearhead. Oh, Sean, this is basic car maintenance. And I may not be a pro like your father was, but I, I got some solid skills. I have to, out here. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm the newbie. I never really got into cars and stuff. <laughs> Esteban was obsessed with his engines. <sighs> That doesn't mean you had to be, too. He was old-fashioned, wanted me to find myself. He absolutely wanted you to find yourself. Yeah. He only wanted me to find my own way. <laughs> Whatever that was. Wish I had more time. Listen, Esteban loved you and Daniel for exactly who you are. He would be proud that you're going back to his homeland today. Ever been there together? Wish he was here. Uh, yeah, I wonder if she's ever been there. Did you guys ever go to Mexico together? We talked about going. 
but never did. He said growing up there was hard. But he loved it. I don't know anything about Mexico. It's scary. Sean, you're carrying the weight of two people on your shoulders now. It's okay to be nervous. I'm just tired of running. Mm -hmm. Of causing trouble everywhere we go. Daniel's power is overwhelming, and we don't know where it comes from. But you do know your brother. You'll be there for each other. Not sure I can do this. Power freaks me out. Just want this over. Um, I think he would probably be feeling more doubt than anything else. I'm scared shitless. I don't- I'm not even sure I can do this. Or if we can start a new life. But I'm the only one that can take him to safety. Your brother sure isn't a little kid anymore. He had to grow up too fast. He wants to be equals. And you guys are gonna have to work together. He may even help you make it. Maybe you're right. Like you know. Ah, it's too late to start going back into that talk. Uh, let's just concede. Maybe you're right. You'll figure it out. Like you always do. Okay. Better get back to my tune-up. Alright. I'll make one last round before leaving. I have no doubt that he can start a new life for Daniel. My only doubt is getting across the border. Um, and from what I understand, that's like the end of the game. Um, and it can go a lot of different ways. Hey, guys. But I absolutely have faith he could start a new life for his brother. I no came question. by to say adios. We're taking off today. No, you're not. Really? Everything okay? Yeah, just time to go. Well, shit. Wish you and Daniel could stay longer. Too risky for everyone. We gotta cross that border. Hmm. It's really too risky for everyone. Yeah, but it's too risky. Especially for all of you. We all took a risk moving here. Look, we can hide you from the cops. <sighs> Not these ones. They want my ass. It's better if we leave now. Sean, I won't drag this out and get bitter. Besides, you and Daniel will be back to visit, right? No way, we will try. Yeah, uh, we'll try. Maybe if we can get to Mexico, um, we can clear our name and We'll try. Have I'm freedom. glad this place will be our last U.S. memory. You and your little brother will always have friends here. And a home. <laughs> okay. I'm done babbling. I just hate goodbyes. I know you're both gonna have a great life in Mexico. You better. Uh, we... We're gonna make it work. Shit. I'm gonna miss you guys. Take care. You hear? Watch out for Daniel. He needs you. Be safe. And send us a postcard to the beach. I wonder how they get mail there. Maybe they all have P.O. boxes. In whatever town is up the road. Um. Damn. Okay, so we talked to yeah. David. We talked to these two. To I guess we just need to go back and get Daniel. Say goodbye to Joanne and then go. Can I draw? No, just sit. Yeah, I don't really want to do that. I would like to draw something though. I have I'm surprised I haven't seen a spot to sit. It's the first time I use my power to actually build something. I usually just use it because I have to. Hey, don't worry. I'm sure we'll get another chance to work together once you're settled. Yeah. I hope so. Looks like we got everything. Time to hit the highway. Okay, so I guess I just have to go back to the... I thought I saw like a platform or something. Can I get up on that? Maybe that will let me draw? No, I guess not. Okay. When we're in Mexico, we won't have to deal with this shit anymore. Uh, 
All right. I guess that's it. Daniel, do you copy? It's time to wrap it up. Be right there. Over. So, did you get to say goodbye to away? Yeah. Kind of sad. I know. Are we leaving yet? We have to, and I know. Come here. Better armpit stink. <laughs> um, I, I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too, Danny. It was amazing to spend this time with you. I'm so damn proud of you both, and what you're gonna do with your life. And if you ever need me, I'm just around the corner. Okay, mom. Thank you. Well, Sean, this is it. Oh, I get a choice. Don't hug Karen, hug Karen. Why the hell wouldn't I hug Karen? Like, we've made so much progress. Um, shit, we're calling her mom. She gave us an eye patch. I mean, that deserves a hug, right? Uh, yeah, hug Karen. No question. Thanks, mom, for being there. Thanks for letting me, son. Oh, so beautiful. <sighs> Let's hit the road. Seeing them uproot yet again. And knowing what they're going to. Gosh. And that, for me, is where we're going to call it for today. Um, so as far as my thoughts on the episode, um, I'm glad that we had this whole section here in, in Arizona um, with Karen and to make peace with that. I really love that David Madsen um, made kind of a cameo and I'm really glad that we kind of got to find out, you know, what happened with some folks. I guess Chloe and Max are in New York. Max is doing well with her photography and uh, is showing her work in different, um, you know, studios and, studios and galleries. So that's kind of cool. Uh, and Victoria Chase is getting therapy, which is great because, you know, it's good for everybody, really. Um, so that was kind of a cool surprise. Um, uh, and yeah, like I was saying before, I really like the way that the Life is Strange franchise pre uh, pre presents to us this idea of community and how it means that we all kind of give into a communal pot and work together and to keep that society going. So that's really cool. I'm really nervous about part two. Really, really, really nervous just because I, I don't really know what to expect. And I've heard a few of the different types of outcomes, but I'm not sure how to get to them. So we'll see how that goes. Thank you guys so much for joining those that kind of popped in and out throughout the stream. I really enjoyed it. Um, I will be posting this on YouTube probably Tuesday or Wednesday. So if you wanted to rewatch or if you missed part of it, you can catch it there. Um, and hopefully I'll be streaming part two of this final episode either later this evening or maybe during the week. I don't usually stream during the week, but I'll try. Um, but anyway, thanks again for joining. If you enjoyed the series, give me a subscribe here on YouTube. Give me a thumbs up for the video if you like it. And then leave some comments down below. Let me know uh, how your game is turning out and what you think of the story. So uh, anyway, until next time, bye.